Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to change uh, Dexcom G6 and uh, T-Slim insulin pump. So here's all the things you'll need. A Dexcom G6 sensor. Some patches if you want some. A cannula. Uh, this very important tool that literally saves my neck if you've got like the case on this wipe that basically like removes all marks from your skin you get in it yeah okay um the actual insulin the cat cartridge and the needle also you'll be these two items are optional this which you like use to spray on your like patch or the bit on your body where the insulin goes in and then it just lifts off way easier and a cream to so it doesn't get irritated step one I'll get my spray and go into my arm and just I'll show you guys once I'm done. So I sprayed it on and I'm ripping it off. Sorry guys. Okay, and as you can see, it only ripped off the patch because it's done a really good job of protecting. So I'll spray it again. Do you see that brown stuff? That's dried up blood. I know, gruesome. And now you'll want to um, keep that grey bit in the middle, so just um, get the edge, like here, and then just break that, take it out, so it should be like that. P place it like this, on the countertop, so those little gold button things, they don't get infected with dust and stuff, because if that happens, then you're done for if you don't have one of these. Next, I'll get this spray again and I'll spray it on my site. So your site may be bleeding like mine might be um, once you've taken it out, but that's completely normal. So you'll want to clean it up with like a piece of toilet paper or something. So then until it stops bleeding, it may hurt if the spray gets into the hole, but just, you are strong, you can survive, you will not cry, you will not show you are weak. I'm not saying crying is weak, it's just, you, you, you can survive. So once you've got your unflattering pile of rubbish, you'll just put it in the bin, which I'm totally going to do. Totally. Okay. So we'll be put, we'll be cleaning up my arm now and yours of course if you are doing this too. So I'll rip off this, get it like this, fold it in half, ish, then like just resembling a pile. Just rub it on your arm or your leg or something wherever you put it. Your decks come. Don't ask why my um are, my head's just twitching weirdly. I do not know. If um it's gone like dry like my one, you might want to go get another one. Don't ask why I've got five drawers of diabetes stuff. I will now add this to my pile of stuff that I'm totally going to put in uh, the bin after I finish this video. Totally. Totally. This feels weird, so try not to get it in any cuts or anything. I mean, you can't really help it if it gets into the hole, to be honest. And I feel bad if it does. Now, as you can see, my arm is very red, but also very clean. Do not get worried if you can feel these odd marks on your arm, because that is completely normal. Okay, so next, you're going to want to get your Dexcom box. Open it up. Peel back your Dexcom. I can also 
when the um, other large bag of things I will totally put in the bin after the video ends. As you can see, this thingy my bob, just, yeah, just, yeah, is good. So, next you'll want to decide your side. I think I'm doing my right arm. Find a nice spot. This bit feels very juicy. So, I'll get a tiny of this ring look how much I do not need that much my god so I didn't need that much but I used it all anyway because that's the sort of person I am oh and also did I mention with these um, you're supposed to clean this I don't think I did so that's what I'm doing right now so nice and shiny two gold things like shine like brass buttons Okay, next, on your Dexcom, you'll remove this big orange thing. Do not press that button. Whatever you want to do. I know how much you'll want to, but just don't. Remove these two stickers, but keep the top one. Put that to the side. And make sure it's all pressed down and stuff. Now, you will go get your adult who does not want to do this, but you'll go get them anyway, because you need help. Okay, so once you've brought your unwilling parent up, or helper, or sibling, or friend, even though I wouldn't really recommend a little sibling, but you know. So you'll get your desired spot. You um, will place this just above where you want it. And when you want it in, just put it on your skin, then press down that orange button as far as it'll go, then take it off, and we'll just demonstrate. So Dad, I would like it here. I remember to put the cream on this time. Just down here. No, not there. You're not never there. supposed to put it on your skin. Anyway. That's okay. Just cut that a bit out. Sorry about that. Small mishap. Okay, three, two, one. May hurt a little bit, but deep Should breaths. Around? Ah. Okay, now once you take it off, you get this and put it in your arm. Click, clack. You should hear that. It's really easy. Then you will get your patch if you want it and you'll peel it up. And you'll just press it around the sensor and done. This is how you put it on. In case you didn't catch that, this is how you put it on. Just put it around the arm. Does not matter if it's a bit creased. Everything gets creased a bit. And abracadabra. Then, parent, you will be able to go. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Now we'll have to go on with the set change. Um, now we have to hurry up because it's nearly my tea and I've got to put the carbs in. So first, you get your pump. You um, get this really t good tool that has literally saved my skin so many times. And you slot it into that little bit there. Then you just push that up. Didn't work. Okay, do it again. Never done it this way. Okay, slot it in. I'll just do it when it's facing me, it's easier. There. So basically you just put it in that little slot. Then push up. Then it'll come up. Then pull it by that and put it in the pile of stuff that is growing rapidly. So wasteful. Okay, this is... You just don't need it. Have you still kept this? Good, because you'll be needing it later. Okay, now you get... Wait, no, this is wrong. Sorry. You go into your pump. Try to do this backwards. I did it. Okay. So once you've logged in and gone into options, you'll go to load. And you'll press change cartridge. And do that blue tick. Make sure the set is disconnected to your body. Oh, there's another blue tick. Press that again. Okay, and while it's doing that, get this out. There'll be a little bit in the corner that'll help you. After a lot of struggling, I managed to get it out. Okay, I'll put that on my table. Then you'll want to get this out. Be very careful when you open this one because it's got two parts and one of them is quite small. 
like this. That's good. Okay, I'll get this and this. That goes over there. Then you get this and screw it on, or put it on and then just screw it all the way to the left until it won't go any further. Then take this off. And now this is a needle, so be very careful. Then pull it up and then go. And if you felt air on your hand and heard it, then it's working fine. Put your lid back on. Now, open your insulin. And then, um, oh, by the way, do not touch anything in your pump. Is that on your pump until I tell you to? Is that clear? Yes, Ava, you should be saying that. Okay, and put this orange lid in that pile. Then, see how there's a number three? You want to pull that all the way to the number three. Then you get your insulin. Your hands may be a bit wobbly like mine. But just push it through that little bung. Then it, turn it like this and push all that air into there. You'll may see, see a stream of bubbles. Then just let go of the bit at the bottom. Just watch it go down. It'll just move down of its own accord. Look. That's my mother home. Okay. There may be a few bubbles, but that's okay. If they're tiny little champagne bubbles, that's fine. And then keep pulling it back very slowly until it reaches three. Okay, then just pull that out. Okay, now if there are any bubbles, you will put the lid back on and go until they flew to the top. Look how it gets all bubbly. Okay, there's no more bubbles apart from tiny little champagne bubbles at the bottom. Um, so I have pushed the little air bubble up to the top. So I'll push it in there. Now, because there's no air bubbles, I will do this. See how there's a little white bung? That's my pump it turned off it'll just start beating okay i understand okay i stand this on the table which you guys could see stand it on the table and i basically just push it into the white bung like this and i just like push that into there that was actually quite dangerous okay then you pull back See if there's any air trapped in there. And there's a lot of air trapped in this one. Okay, and same process again. Hit until there are no more bubbles left. Oop, and I squirted insulin all over myself. That's why you try to put the extra insulin back in here. Okay. Done, no bubbles. Okay, you can put your you can put the lid back on here and the insulin back in its box. It's fine. Then you take it off and push it back in. Again, just like you did before. But then this time, you're going to um, push down on this. And if it actually won't push down, there may be a slight problem. As you can see after a few, trial and error attempts mine is pushing down perfectly just realized how long this video is okay once all of that three milliliters is in there um there may actually be a bit left over so you might want to get your insulin and push that in yes there's a bit left insulin in there so you will put this back on and put that over there. So, and the insulin away. So you'll get, see how these little rails are there? Um, is this the right side? Yes. You will just slide those on those little rails and it'll be beautiful. So then once you've logged back into your pump, you'll press that blue icon in the top right corner. Then tick and you'll switch. While we 
longer waiting, you'll get this and go. You're not supposed to, but we won't tell the hospital that we did that, will we? No. Okay. If you didn't realise what I did there, I took off this wrapping. Then I went round to the bottom and found this arrow. I pulled and then it went like that. Then I took off this lid. Keep that there, you'll need it for later. Then you'll see here, you can unhook that. Don't do that. I'm a highly trained professional. So you may realize that this is here, so just press okay, but don't press anything else. Then you will see on this that there's a little groove to place the wire on. If it jumps out again, that's fine. Just put it back in. Then you'll get this bit and connect it to here. Tightly as far as it'll go. You won't need to spin that much. Okay, then you'll take off this blue needle. Well, actually, don't take off the blue needle. Sorry, only for highly trained professional. Okay, now you'll just hold this back up here, your pump, and press start. Hold this over this blue cap. It's a pity that you guys can't see it. But wait until you see there's five droplets. This may take a while. I'll put it on pause. Also, another interesting fact is that every time it's been a unit, it goes beep. So right now it's on 4.7 units. It may take a while. Mine's only already on 10 units. So, yeah. It's a hard life. Oh, my first drip. Two, three, four. Stop, because the and um, I did seven drops there. Because even though I only did four, seven came out. Um, and then you'll just be waiting. And while you're waiting, you'll make sure that's in the groove. The blue lid's now off, and this is off. And all of that is pressed down. Okay, don't do anything else, apart from put your cream on. This is being annoying. There's way too much cream. So I haven't told you very much about the sights yet. I personally use both sides of my belly button, like both sides of my stomach, but some of my friends use their legs, which works for them, but does not work for me. Okay, one sec. So you see these two little grooves here? You'll just pull back on them until you hear it click, because I've got, there, it's all clicked up. Ah. Being a bit troublesome today, are we? Okay, there we go. So I use both sides of my um, belly, but a lot of my friends use their um, legs, but doesn't work. But it doesn't work for me because for some reason my legs don't like me. But my friends also use their back, which I've been too scared to use. Okay, you'll want to like pull up your t-shirt maybe if you're doing this on your own. I'll put this on my bed and put this here. Make sure the wire is still in the groove. And do you see this arrow? That points the way that this is going to come out. So you'll think about it very carefully. And do you also see these two little shiny parts that seem perfect size for your thumb and finger? That's because they are. Okay, so you'll put your things there. And once you've positioned it, you'll just take a deep breath. And squeeze. You push it down and still squeeze. Then you'll just pull on the wire and it's in. Put that away. Okay. Then you could clip it onto your trousers with your belt clip or in a bum bag. You are done. So you'll press all the blue ticks. It'll tell you test um, your blood glucose in one to two hours. And it says this will resume insulin now. So I will resume it. Now I've got to put in my carbs for tea. Bye.